We've just released two-way property linking. In this video, I will show you what that means, how to set it up, and several examples that could give you some inspiration for how to use them in your space. So, Capacities is a tool that is all about linking. You're linking your objects together to create meaningful connections that help you in your knowledge work. We know that Jane Austen and Pride and Prejudice are connected, but currently Capacities doesn't because I haven't linked these two objects together. There are several ways that you can do this. One of the most common ways of course in capacities for linking is simply using the at or the square brackets and in doing so I will find a backlink in the Pride and Prejudice object linking back to Jane Austen. But this is just a general backlink. I can make this a little bit more precise by perhaps adding a property to my book object type. I'll use a select property linked to the person type and call it author. And from here, I have a drop down list and I can choose Jane Austen here. This time I'll have a backlink in Jane Austen's object and it has a little bit more information because it tells me the label of the property in which Jane Austen is linked. But I also have a property in my person type called books they wrote. And realistically, this link is best placed here, but right now, I would have to link it manually and then I get a backlink here. Two-way linking in properties gets rid of this. It makes everything very clean and very simple and all you need to do is tell capacities that this author property is linked to this book's property in the other object type. To do that I can open up the property settings and go to this new section that we've just added and say that this author property in the book object type should be linked to the books they wrote property in the person object type. If I click apply changes, you can see that the backlink section of the Jane Austen page has gone. Same here, because that information is safely stored in these two properties. And because they're synced, if I remove Pride and Prejudice from here, Jane Austen is removed from there. If I re-add them, it comes back. What this does is keeps things a lot cleaner. It's very easy to set up and there's no maintenance involved at all. It also means that your backlink sections are easier to look at because this is essentially reference information, right? And it's now stored in the properties, which you can hide. And this means that you can use your backlinks to actually dive into what you know about Jane Austen or Pride and Prejudice in more depth. If you want to know more about that and the kind of workflow around note taking, I will link to a video that goes into depth there. Linking the author and the books properties are not the only example though. I'll show you another. Here is um, an object for a person and I want to say where they work. I already have an object property that links to organisations and when I click on that list, I get a list of the few organisations that I have notes on in my capacity space. I will link her to Acme and if I open this in the sidebar, you can see that automatically Julie was added as an employee. And that's because if I open the settings, I have linked the employees property in organizations to the works at property in the person type. So again, if I remove that, it's updated right away. This makes things very easy to change, but it also means that you don't have to think where else this information is stored and go in and update that later. It's all done at once. We have another example of it here with London. I've actually got two two-way linked properties here. First of all, this people property links to the location property in my person type. And this places property, so for me, places are things I want to do in a city, for example, is linked to a locations property, which is where I will find that thing to do. So if I click on the Natural History Museum, I can see it's located in London. And that information is, of course, updated automatically as well. The final example that I'll show you for this is linking goals to projects, which is, of course, a good thing to do to derive actions from your goals. So as you can see, this is a super simple setup. So I first need to add a property. I'm going to use an object select. Before these were single select and multi select. We've combined those now. And I want to choose the object type I want to select from. We 
which is projects. As always, that gives me that drop down list of projects I want to work on. I want to do a YouTube channel audit to help me in this project. If I open this up, it's just linked in the backlink section. I want to have it linked in a property. So to do that, I'm going to open up the settings, go to the two way linking section. And currently there are no appropriate properties for that. So I'm just going to create one called goals and click apply that project has now been added and the backlink has been removed. So it's cleaner, it's easier to update and it's connected. And that's how these two-way linked properties work. If you want to use them in your space, the only thing that you need to know is that you must have multiple objects selected. If you have a single object, you'll get this message to say that the sync properties aren't available. So stick to multiple and everything should work very nicely. So that's everything for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you would like to share an idea for how to use it, please do. We would love to know.